welcome back to my channel i hope you're all very well so in today's video i thought i would share with you how i made this this wall art um which i have actually made for my friend's little girl it's for her second birthday and yeah i wanted to just share with you all how i made it because it was so easy really inexpensive i would say that it probably only cost around 10 pound or less to make it's sort of hard to work out exactly because obviously all the decorations came in packs and things that i can use again so i obviously haven't used everything that i bought for it but yeah you can see change it up as well for a boys room and made them before for families with the scrabble tiles and done everybody's name in the family you can honestly do so many different designs you don't need to go out and buy one and spend a fortune they're really easy to make these are this frame is just from ikea i think they're around three pound fifty or you can get them off Amazon for a little bit more. And yeah, really, really simple. So let's get started. I'll show you exactly how I made it. Let's get stuck into it. So first you're going to need something for your background of your frame. I got these from Hobbycraft. Um, it was a big pack of different pattern cards. But obviously you can use anything. Um, you could use a nice piece of wrapping paper. Just whatever it is. Um, just a nice pattern that can go in the back of the frame. Next, I picked up these from Amazon. They are just little bunting um, wooden pieces, really inexpensive. These are just for the decoration. And then I have a big bag of Scrabble tiles. So I have just picked out the ones that I am going to use. And then some more bits for decoration that I had already. So again, this is all, I think they're all from Hobbycraft. So I've got my little flowers, my butterflies, and my little pearls just to add all the decor on then i'm using my trusty glue gun i think this is probably around five pounds i would really um suggest getting one because i just find so many uses for it i really do um and then i've got this wooden letter that again was really inexpensive i got this one either from hobbycraft or amazon and i painted it in a baby pink color so there we go and then the box frame is just like i said in the intro three pound fifty from ikea and that is everything that you need. So first say I am just taking the frame apart and I have picked my background pattern which I now need to stick to the frame mount. So I have just picked out this really pretty pattern card um, with butterflies and flowers on it. So I'm just going to use my glue gun to attach that in place. So now that is done, I'm going to see where I want my Scrabble tile letters. So I'm just going to lay them all out um, and just get a good idea of where I want to stick them down. And with the little wooden bunting tiles I have just cut out some of the card that I used earlier and just picked some pretty patterns just to decorate them which I think looks really really pretty. And I'm just going to, again, lay them out, try and get a good idea of where I want everything to go. I will say if you do put anything around the edges, just make sure you allow enough room for the frame when it goes back on. So now I know where I want everything to go, I can go ahead and stick it all down.
so once all your main elements are down all that's left to do is add some decoration this is really really fun because you can just obviously pick and choose and have a little play around with whatever you want to use i use these cute little daisies that i got from hobbycraft and some beautiful butterflies which actually match the paper pretty much going with this really cute girly theme and yeah i just had a lot of fun with this So there we go guys, all put back together and that is the finished result and I am so pleased with how this turned out. I really hope you like it too. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I am now off to deliver this present to the lucky little girl and I'm hoping that she's going to love it. So I will see you again for my next video. Bye!